welcome to another edition of St. Paul's Connection. My name's Jackson. And I'm Aiden. The first quarter is already over, so let's catch you up. Each school year we have a theme based on God's Word. We'll let St. Paul's students tell you what it is. I'm Mrs. Maddox and this is our preschool class for today. Rejoice in God's strength! I'm Miss Fisher and these are the kindergartners. Rejoice in God's strength! I'm Miss Beaver and this is the first and second grade class and they want to tell you Rejoice in God's strength! I'm Mrs. Burrow and this is the third and fourth grade. Rejoice in God's strength! I'm Mr. Miller and this is the fifth and sixth grade class. Rejoice in God's strength! I'm Mr. Gurgle and this is the seventh and eighth grade class. Rejoice in God's strength! Pastor Mertz, the president of Great Plains Lutheran High School, also has a few words to share about our theme this year. Hi, I'm Pastor David Mertz from Great Plains Lutheran High School, and it's neat to be here at St. Paul's. I'm here in October with a group of students from Great Plains Lutheran High School to visit the students here at St. Paul's. And one of the neat things about our visit is that we share a theme for our school year, and that is that we get to rejoice in God's strength. At Great Plains Lutheran, we get to think about how that's a part of our day and a part of our life. It's about a part of our ministry, and you get to do the same thing here at St. Paul's about God being our strength. He's the one who created us. He's the one who has redeemed us. He's the one who has set apart all of us for a life of service, and we get to share that with our students just as you do here. And it's, it's neat to see how we have that shared faith and even that shared theme as we work together to bring Christian, Christ-centered education to God's people. Thanks, Pastor Mertz. It's a blessing to share a common theme in faith with our fellow believers across South Dakota. As you likely know by now, we were able to install a new wood floor in our gym. By God's grace and with the help of countless volunteers, we were able to install the floor before the start of the school year. The floor has already been put to good use for our congregation's 75th anniversary, as well as full volleyball season. In addition, four additional hoops on the side walls are ready to go, as well as a newer set of bleachers. God has richly blessed our school this past year, and the gym floor is just one of those ways. The fall sports season just wrapped up. We had over 25 athletes participating in a fall sport this year. We had record participation for the cross country team this year. Numerous school records and even more personal records were broken. We like to thank Coach Miller and Coach Berg for their time and effort. We brought back the entire volleyball team from last season and the improvement was obvious. The team was especially known for their teamwork. We appreciate Coach Fisher and Coach Green's leadership this season. To promote health, fitness, and school unity, St. Paul's students participated in a Walk Across America program. During the month of September, students walked or ran 15 minutes each day. We tracked our distance as a school, and we reached our goal. Sure Foundation Lutheran Church in New York City, 1,732 miles away. To further promote health and fitness, our students participated in a Hoops for Heart program to support the American Heart Association. Because the students reached our fundraising goal five times over, our principal, Mr. Gurgle, had to kiss a goat five times. The real motivation to give, however, was spoken perfectly by a second grade student. We show love to others because Jesus loved us first. While the students enjoyed a few days off of school, in October, St. Paul's had the opportunity to host the annual Fall District Teachers Conference. Over 135 teachers from as far away as Kansas were in attendance to hear keynote topics such as what great teachers do differently and Luther at the major. We are blessed to have many dedicated teachers who constantly work to grow professionally. That's all we have for now. Thanks for watching. Look for the next edition of St. Paul's Connection in February.